In this video, we'll be demonstrating how to assemble the Yamaha T-Chime frame. The T-Chime is part of the Yamaha Tough Terrain frame system and features 10-inch pneumatic wheels, greater maneuverability, and a heavy-duty welded steel frame. Let's make sure you have everything you need to get started. High-end wheel assembly with stationary wheels. Low-end wheel assembly with swivel wheels. Lower crossbar handle, hex key provided with the T-Chime, and hex keys provided with the Yamaha YCH6018 and YCH7018 chimes. If you have already purchased the YCH6018 or YCH7018 chimes, it will need to be disassembled for reassembly on the T-Chime frame. The T-Chime will arrive in a separate box. As you unbox the T-Chime, you will notice that the handle is not attached. Additionally, a small metal bar will be located between the low-end and high-end wheel assembly. This bar is for shipping purposes only. Please save all packaging until assembly is complete. This ensures you do not accidentally discard any parts. Let's begin! Place both the high-end and low-end wheel assemblies on the ground. Next, insert the long lower crossbar into each wheel assembly to attach them together. With each wheel assembly in place, finger tighten the screws. Make sure not to fully tighten the screws. Next, attach the T-handle to the low end wheel assembly using the provided hex key. Lock the swivel wheels when complete. The T-Chime is assembled and ready to receive the YCH6018 or YCH7018. First, lock the wheels on the chime frame to avoid movement during disassembly. Lock the damper in the open position and carefully remove all the chime tubes. To avoid damage, lay them on a soft level surface such as a blanket. We recommend soft gloves for this process to further protect the chime tubes and avoid damage or scratches. Using the hex key included with the concert chimes, remove the screws at the top of the upper chime frame. Put them aside for later use. Remove the upper chime frame by sliding it up and out and place it on a soft surface. Using the hex key, Loosen the screw that attaches the pull rod to the damper box attachment. Disconnect the damper rod from the damper box and set it aside. There are two screws attached to the plate under the damper box on each side of the concert frame. Using the hex key, remove each of the four screws and set them aside for later use. Remove the damper box by lifting evenly up and out of the concert frame. Lifting the damper box may require two people. Once removed, you will see a screw holding the lower crossbars in place. Remove the screws and set them aside. Remove the screw that attaches each tube post to the wheel assembly with a hex key. There is one on each side. Set the screws aside. You can now remove each vertical tube post from the concert frame. Place each tube post in the T-Chime frame. Be sure to not fully tighten the screws yet. Back on the concert frame, remove the screws at the bottom of each side and move the pedal rod assembly onto the T-Chime frame. Using the screws from the concert frame, attach the lower crossbar on the pedal rod assembly to the T-Chime. Attach both lower crossbars to the T-Chime using the screws from the concert frame. With the crossbars secure, tighten the screws on the lower crossbar. Next, slide the damper box onto each two post, ensuring that the damper stop is on the player side. Lower the damper box slowly and evenly. Replace the four screws under the damper box. Next, place the upper chime frame onto each two post and firmly attach the frame with the two provided screws. Attach the pull rod assembly to the damper box. Be sure that the flat part of the pull rod is facing the screw, then tighten. Adjust the pedal height as needed. Finally, 
replace each chime tube onto the T-chime. Congratulations, you've successfully assembled the Yamaha T-chime. Remember, always raise the pedal before transporting the chimes. Thank you for choosing Yamaha.